beautiful day in Uruguay, Montevideo. Hello, hola, buenos dias. So I have one day here because I am on a layover and I'm like, I gotta make the most of it. Of course, I'm gonna leave the airport, explore, soak up these 24 hours in Montevideo, which is the capital city of Uruguay. So, ooh. Hello, handsome army man. Hi. <laughs> I'm here, I'm over here. <laughs> Anyways. <laughs> okay, okay. I was thinking of Uruguay is one of the most, if anything, leading the way for uh, LGBT, how progressive it is in South America, which is awesome. So I'm sure some of some of those guys would would um be down <laughs> anyway so we're gonna kick start my exploration here in independent square so independent square as you can see beautiful is to commemorate the independence of this country and so this this maybe you're wondering who's this figure here this is artigas who is the liberator in uruguay was liberated by artigas from spanish rule which is really cool and then over here is one of the most important, iconic buildings of Montevideo. It was meant to be a hotel back, back, back when it was being built, but due to the Great Depression, no tourism was happening back in like 1929. And so it got converted into apartments. And then you have the old presidential house or palace. And then you have a new building where literally the equivalent to the White House. But as you can see, it's so chill here. It's so chill. There's no guards. There's no, you know, like high security that you would think for like Parliament Hill or the White House. Because this is the equivalent of where the president works. Um, that's just because the people here are super chill. As you can see, that's from the city. This is like center of town and I love it okay so underneath this statue is actually the mausoleum mausoleum for Atiyas so we're gonna go in I'm gonna have to whisper because it's a quiet place it's pretty cool I don't know what building this is but I love the architecture <laughs> you don't mean architecture I love it I love it okay so we're gonna go down are kept and these military soldiers the two here are the same from his regiment back then it's pretty cool so we come from independence plaza to the gate of the citadel which is such a cool name because this is one of the re remaining reminders still standing that Montevideo used to be a walled city. Is it too soon to say I have a favorite place in the city already? So we're at the Plaza de Constitution and it's lined up with these huge, stunning sycamore trees surrounded by beautiful architecture, church right there, and it's such a relaxing, I mean, even more relaxing part of this beautiful city. And then look, this nice fountain here. It's just such a, I can spend the rest of the day here just reading, chilling, sitting on these park benches that is numerous all around here. It's open and free here.
radio that you're going to the cathedral right now. Don't leave me here. From the outside, my fake neoclassical architecture really seems simple. The marble statues and just the way they built this cathedral is just so immaculate. And all the little detail to it too. When I said this city wows me with its architecture, I was not flying around this building, this building, everywhere all around me, Montevideo. Damn. Welcome to the grand 19th century market, which is housed in this beautiful, stunning, iron building, basically a huge hall called Mercado El Puerto. This is where all the locals here come and get their menu del dia, their lunches, their times for meat. Meat is the language and the food specialty here in Uruguay. And of course, I have to try it. I mean, come on. There are so many places to choose here. I kind of overwhelmed. I don't know where to go, which one, because they all look so good, especially the open flames. Like, uh, which one do I decide on? The energy in here is infectious. Literally, the food is cooked on an open fire right in front of everyone's eyes, no matter what stall you go to. So you can try your asados, try pasta here, and it is, the food here is just a great mixture blend of Portuguese, Italian, Spanish, so basically the European ancestors of Uruguay made and those dishes blended into, especially the barbecue, blended into what makes the Uruguayan gastronomy is today. This is huge. <laughs> I'm so excited. I literally just watched it being like flamed up and grilled right in front of me and now I'm gonna cut into it and taste it. It is so juicy. It's so good. Holy cow. Mm, the short rib asado. Incredible. I, mean, I can eat this every single day. I'm not gonna lie. I can eat this every single day. Mm. I don't care what anyone says or think. I'm gonna be eating all of the meat off the bone. Like there's only gonna be bone flap. That's it. Only bone flap. Because it is so good. Mm. Oh my god. Lord. They know what they're doing here. Alright, I am stuffed. And but we're still in for a treat because it's the weekend, it's Sunday. And right out on Trisha Navarro Street, which is right outside of the Mercado, on camp, beautiful market, beautiful market, it is a whole street market. So there's little stalls, there's trinkets that we can get, and we're just gonna see the pop of colors as we walk on by.
I just stumbled upon this plant store just walking around town and it is a dream here. Look at this. I like the plant wall. All these things. Ah, if I lived here, I'd be taking so many of these pots home. Beautiful. This whole space is beautiful. I see the sea. I'm gonna run towards the sea. <laughs> Look at this long stretch of boardwalk that goes all the way, literally when I came from the airport, all the way into Montevideo. This boardwalk can be traced all along the city because that's because it's this whole country. Bordered to the west by Argentina, the north, northeast by Brazil, and then the south, southeast by the Atlantic Ocean. You get a whole stretch of this coastline here and people go running here. People have really nice views from their homes. Overlooking all this. You know, just sitting here listening to the little waves coming in hearing the sound of the Atlantic Ocean it just brings me so much peace and it's been a long while since I've solo traveled I mean I know this is just a layover special layover edition from Montevideo Video, Uruguay <laughs> uh, and I would love to come back to Uruguay of course there's so much to discover in this country this is just a little taste of it but just being able to have a taste of what it's like to explore again by myself you know going to a restaurant and eating by myself smack middle of surrounded by all these tables with locals it's it's been just a really nice way to reconnect with myself I think this city is the perfect place to do that because it allows you to do that because it has space to do that because there's just so many between the cute cafes, the delicious food, to the little dotted art galleries and gracious parks and of course this, ah, the ocean. You just have the space to do that here. And I hope that you enjoyed. Oh. Oh, I definitely enjoyed this. <laughs> all right, all right, all right. My attention is back. <laughs> well, I hope you enjoyed this special layover edition of Uruguay Montevideo. I'll be back to this delicious, beautiful country. Until then, have to hop onto a plane real soon for the next South American adventure. Can you guess where? I'm really excited for the next one too. And the next one, not a layover, but going to be quite a journey. All right, guys, if you haven't subscribed already, hit subscribe, give this video a like, leave a comment below, and I'll catch you on the next Logan Lee adventures. Out.